So today, we are solving a system of equations by elimination. I've got two examples here. Now, ideally, when you have a system of equations and you want to solve it by elimination, either the x's or the y's match up, meaning they have the exact same amount but, but are opposites of each other. For example, if this was 5x and this was negative 5x underneath, it'd be perfect because when we add them together, it would eliminate all the x's. However, if you look at this situation, neither of those are happening, right? If you've got 5x here, 7x here. You've got 4y here and negative 8y there. So adding these two equations is not going to eliminate any variables. So what we can do is multiply one of these equations by a number so that we do have that situation. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to take this first equation and I'm going to multiply both sides of the equal sign by 2. Now, why 2, you ask? Well, you're about to find out. 2 times 5x is 10x. 2 times 4y is 8y. And 2 times 37 is 74. All right. Now, when I drop the other equation down underneath it, now you'll see why I chose to multiply the first equation by 2. If you look at the y's, the first equation now has a positive 8y, and the second equation now has a negative 8y. And this is what I want, because when I add these two equations together, I know that 8y plus negative 8y will eliminate all the y's. All right? So that was my strategy on that first step, is I looked at the x's, and I looked at the y's, and I thought, Huh, if I multiply this positive 4y by 2, I get positive 8y, which will eliminate my y's because I've got negative 8y on the bottom. And notice, I can't really do that with the x's. There's no number, no easy number that I can multiply 5x by to get 7x. And there's nothing I can multiply 7x by, well, at least not an easy number, to get 5x. All right? But when I multiply that one by 2, I get this. And now let's finish the problem. 10x plus 7x is 17x. Of course, our y's are eliminated. And on the other side, 74 plus 79 is 153. And now it's an easy equation to solve. Divide both sides by 17. I end up getting x equals 9. Now, if I want to get y, what I'm going to have to do is put x back into one of the original equations. I'm going to choose the top one because it's a little bit easier. but you can choose either one, you'll get the same answer no matter what. But I'm going to put my 9 right back in for x. So I'm going to have 5 times 9 plus 4y equals 37. And if I solve this, I'll be able to figure out what y is. 5 times 9 is 45. All right. Now to solve for y, I need to subtract 45 from both sides. I end up getting 4y equals negative 8. And then divide both sides by 4. I end up getting y equals negative 2. And there's my solution. x is 9, y is negative 2. All right. So really, that first step is the trickiest. What we're looking for is a way to multiply one of the equations so that we can match up either the x's or y's and eliminate one of them. All right? So let's do another example so we can see it again. I've got 9x plus 2y equals 51. I've got 3x plus 7y equals 36. Now, right away, I noticed the 2's and y, the, the y's aren't going to eliminate very easily because 2 times something to get 7, I mean, I could multiply by 3.5 to get 7, but who wants to multiply a bunch of numbers by 0.5? If I look at my x's, I know I can multiply 3 by a number to get 9. So that's going to be an easier choice. So I'm going to multiply this equation, all right? Now, I've got 9x on the top. I want a negative 9x, so that way they'll eliminate. So I'm going to multiply this one by negative 3. All right, why negative 3? Well, let's find out and see. So if I multiply this by negative 3, 
3x times negative 3 is negative 9x. 7y times negative 3 is negative 21y. And 36 times negative 3 is negative 108. Now, I'll just take my other equation and just drop it down. And now you can see why I chose to multiply by negative 3. I've got a negative 9x now, and I already had a positive 9x. So when I add these two equations together, negative 9x's plus positive 9x's eliminates all my x's. All right, and now I can solve this pretty easily. Negative 2y, 21y plus 2y is negative 19y. And negative 108 plus, neg, uh, plus 51 is negative 57. To get y, I'll just divide both sides by negative 19. Should be y equals positive 3. All right, so again, that first step is the tricky step. Trying to figure out if you can multiply one of these equations by a number so that either the x's or y's can easily be eliminated. All right, let's finish up this problem. So y is three, I'm gonna put it back into one of the original equations. Eh, let's put in this bottom one because there's smaller numbers here. I'll put it in for y. So three x plus, instead of seven times y, seven times three, because y is 3, equals 36. Simplify this a bit. 3x plus 21 equals 36. Now, to solve for x, I'll subtract 21 from both sides. I end up getting 3x equals 15. Almost there. Divide both sides by 3. I end up getting x equals 5. So we just got our solution there. x is 5, y is 3. Boom. All right. So the key to this method is making sure you put yourself in a situation where you can eliminate either the x's or the y's. And the way you do that is by multiplying one of the equations by a number so you have a positive amount of x's or y's and a negative amount of x's or y's with them being the same number. So they're opposite numbers, right? 9x, negative 9x. 8y, negative 8y. And when you add them, they eliminate, and then we can solve. All right? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.